What are your top stressors? So what are like the top things that stress you out? Oh. Mm -hmm. On a Monday morning at Booktill Middle School in Akron, a group of 7th and 8th grade girls are given small yellow bags as part of a session on improving mental health. Inside the bag is a smartphone. While many may think that most mental health sessions would involve counseling or journaling, this program includes a form of therapy that's quite fitting for the newest generations, a new smartphone app. If you click um, at the icon at the top of the left-hand side of your page, um, then you'll be able to see all the features. Rosalind McNeil is the seventh grader who says she joined the program to help her deal with stress. I wanted to join this program because I'm always stressed out. Like, I'm one of the most stressful people I know. I'm always worried about something. I don't know what to do to really relax sometimes. These girls are part of a program called Sisters United Now, or SUN, headed by a group at Kent State University that aims to help black teen girls learn ways to cope with mental health issues like anxiety and depression. According to the Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health, African Americans are 20 percent more likely to experience mental health issues like major depression, ADHD, and PTSD compared to the general population. Black girls in particular have anxiety levels that are significantly higher than other groups in the U.S., according to research done by Dr. Angela Neal Barnett. Neil Barnett is a psychologist at Kent State University who runs the SUN program in app development. She says chronic stress and anxiety often starts in childhood for black women, but many don't realize it until adulthood. What we see in black women is if we're looking at anxiety, they've had the anxiety for longer periods of time, so it's chronic, and the symptoms are more intense. And when we go back to talk with them, we find out that, you know, yes, I've been experiencing this since I was 13, 14, 15. In initial research on the efficacy of the app, Neil Barnett has found it to be helpful in reducing anxiety among the girls who tried it. So when you open the app, um, the I Can Be Encouraged theme song will automatically start playing. Jordan Lally is a senior at Kent State and a psychology major. She helped develop the app. Starting with the journal page, this is where our girls are able to kind of reflect upon the different stressors that they're experiencing and they're able to journal about anything, anything that's going on within their lives. That's where their little avatar is held. Um, and this is where they create different statuses. So this is when they're kind of learning um, about positive and negative thoughts and the whole entire goal is just for them to be able to write their statuses and then go back and identify if their thoughts were positive or negative in nature. A big part of the app is music, with the girls recording their own theme songs to listen to when they're feeling stressed. The most important part is a built-in survey that tracks improvements in the girls' moods after they listen to their song. Particularly within the black community, music is, is it's almost essential. They've been very comfortable using music to kind of combat their stress and anxiety anyways. With the theme song, we're teaching them how to kind of unwind their negative thoughts and kind of replace those thoughts with positive thoughts um, in a way that they didn't, they didn't know how to do before. But it's possible that the use of phones or social media for mental health could be a double-edged sword. Several recent studies have found that devices can actually have a negative impact on mental health, according to psychologist Elizabeth Harris at UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. Any exposure to devices for a prolonged period of time can be damaging to mental health, particularly with attention, with sleeping, and with person-to-person -person interaction. But Harris says along with the negatives, there are some positives that come with using a phone app as a therapeutic tool. When you speak with adolescents particularly, you have to meet them where they are. Being able to check in with yourself and see how you feel and do something positive and then check in again is something that can naturally improve your mood. So being able to monitor how you feel moment to moment is actually a therapeutic technique. The Sun app isn't the first smartphone app to tackle mental health. Countless others have popped up in recent years for both adolescents and adults. Back at Booktill Middle School, the research project calls for the girls to take part in eight mental health sessions in collaboration with using the app. Their responses to the built-in surveys will be tracked as part of the research program to test the app's effectiveness. Rosalind McNeil has high hopes. 
I hope that I get a place that helps me get through things that I need help with and someone's not always there to help me with that. And I always have a phone on me, so that would be awesome if I could always have something with me like an app that could help me with stress levels.